What's going on guys? My name is Owen Davis. Today I'm going to be giving you a review on the Colony Wasp Cassette Hub. Now this hub has been around for a while now and it is probably one of the best hubs you can get. I recently got this hub and riding it for at least 15 minutes I could already tell you so many things that I love about it. First of all, this soapy color is amazing. I really like the color of it and there's just so many things. So let's get into the review. So the first thing I like about this hub is that it comes in a female axle form. Now what a female axle form is where it has a screw, then the screw will screw into the screw. It's, it's kind of weird, but it helps keep the less the nubs from sticking out of the bike just like this. And you know, those can always be annoying, you might get your foot caught in it. So I think this is kind of nice if you don't feel like run pegs on one side or you don't run pegs at all. Coming in second is the driver. So the driver is a probably where all the magic happens. So it has six Paul's going inside with three nubs on each pole that provides insane engagement. So as soon as you pedal, this thing engages. I'll show you what I mean. No play at all. It just goes. So when buying the sub, you can get it with just the hub itself rather than the whole rim. But I decided to get a colony rim because they look very nice and thick and that's what every BMX rider needs. And riding it for a while, it's had no issues at all, and this thing is a little bit bigger than the last rim I did have currently on this bike. So I would say that if you go to the Colony website and you get uh, this thing, I'll leave the name of everything down in the description so you can see, but if you get this one, um, it has a bunch of like, details and everything on it, and I'd say it's a very, very nice uh, rim. And I would highly suggest it. So you can get this thing, I believe, you can get the driver in like a, like a brownish. Well, I wouldn't really say like a brownish, I'd say like kind of like a, pretty much a gray. And you can also get this in a black. When I bought it, the only one I could find for the cheapest option was the soapy color. Now I think that since my bike is all black and you have this really cool hub in the back, having that jet fuel color right there actually makes it pop a little bit better. And I think that getting that kind of color you know, makes it a little more puppy, so. But I believe you can get it in like black or something like, something like that, I'm not 100% sure, but you can go look for yourself. So the driver also comes with uh, springs underneath that you can also double up or triple up if you wanna make this thing insanely loud. So the Colony Wasp Pub is, has to be one of the, one of the loudest BMX subs that you can get. I'm not 100% sure that it's the second loudest because I do know for sure the Profile Elite is the one of the best hubs. This is the Profile Elite and this is the Colony Wasp. So they have a little bit of a difference in them. So you can just tell right there that it's, they have different shaping. Uh, so the Profile Elite just has some better features that can make it a lot louder and a little bit more clean. but. I would say that this is very, very loud and it'll alert people from like 50 feet away. They'll be like, what in the world is that? So if you were to bend the springs on this, I would highly suggest after a few months of riding it, just to take a peek inside of your driver and make sure that your poles are not getting worn out because it is going to create a lot of friction. And you don't want a whole lot of friction because it'll wear out your teeth. But if you have 25 cents to spare all the time then you could just easily order yourself a whole packet of brand new parts in there for very very cheap and it doesn't cost you hardly anything at all i wouldn't suggest bending them and having it so tight that you can just barely get it to turn just to make it loud because it will hurt your hub but i guess if you leave a little bit of grease on there it's your hub you do it you want but I don't take responsibility if you bend this thing and it breaks I don't I'm just telling you that it, it can be cool if you do that but I mean many people do this it, I don't really think it they break that often so you should be fine if you just give it a little bit of a bend and make it louder but I would suggest don't go ham on it and just make it just bend the heck out of it just to make it super loud so also with the bolts that you can see, you have a Allen key adapter where you can also, if you don't have a, if you don't have your socket wrench, so you, you know, you put the socket on there. If you don't have one and you know that you have an Allen key, you can also stick an Allen key in there and undo the bolts too, which would be, which is pretty similar to using one of these, you know, because it has the things like this and stuff. So it shouldn't be too hard to use if you already know how to do this pretty well. So I 
I did really like that feature as well. So let me give you a sound check. I did bend the springs pretty decent. I only have one set of springs on each pole, but here we go. I'm gonna give you a little sound review and I'll cut you a deal. If you give me this, if you get this video to 75 likes, you can get the 75 likes. I'll show you a few different ways to make your hubs louder. So here we go. So if you are newer to the channel, please uh, make sure to click that subscribe button and click on that bell because we do post a lot of other BMX content on here. I know these review videos tend to get a lot of views and stuff because people are searching up this product. So I just, uh, I hope you guys click that subscribe button and jump along. I do post a lot of like point of view writing and vlogs and skate parks and all that kind of stuff. Um, I'm trying to get into a lot more BMX stuff and really get this channel going. So if you would click that subscribe button, the bell, and click on that share button, I deeply appreciate it. And I do hope that if you do come along, that you hope that you enjoy the ride with us. And I do, and I hope the Colony Wasp Pub will be the right hub for you. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys very soon.